We've been talking a lot about the proper use of force by police officers here in Hampton Roads and across the country. And we all know police have to make split second decisions, and tonight we're getting a closer look at some of that training. Then, your science, Jason Mark, spent the morning watching how police officers handle different scenarios. Jason? Tom, this simulator is not a substitute for real life training, but it's an added tool for police, an extra edge before hitting the street. What looks like a video game you'll find in any arcade. It feels like a toy, right? You're just pulling the trigger. Is actually the newest training tool for Newport News Police. And I think the benefit of this particular system is Im immeasurable. This is the Milo Range computer system with hundreds of scenarios. We're searching the stairwell, it's typical standard burglary call. But in here, nothing is standard. Hey, show me how to drop the gun, drop the gun, drop the gun. The system is designed as another training tool in the department's arsenal. Soon, all Newport News officers will work with this technology. Here. We could take a real life um, situation and we can then train on that exact scenario, that real life scenario that, we, that somebody on our department experienced. These are life and death situations and officers have to make that split second decision. If I were to shoot him in the vest, he's going to continue to attempt to assault me. All right, because he's got a bulletproof vest on. Ideally, officers never want to fire. The hope is to have each suspect comply. We're reiterating, look, as long as you're calm, you, you, you have control of the situation, but you're calm and you're verbalizing what you want them to do, the majority of the time they'll be compliant. Police even allowed 10 on your side to try some scenarios. This time it was a charging man with a knife. So your first shot, Jason, was up here. Okay, go ahead. Second shot, but look how close he is to you. That's how fast it can ha they can get on you. The technology is there, and police are taking advantage. Through training, we hope to give you the skills to make those decisions. Now, ECPI University has the machine for its criminal justice students. It shares the program with officers in Newport News, Hampton, and York Pocosin. The same technology is also at the school's Virginia Beach campus. We're told beach police come in and train, too. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.